Uh, and next to go, we have the comic Dave Gorman, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and uh, a man after my own heart, because uh, I found out about this the other day, and I think it's only fair we share it with you. You went down on one knee, didn't you? Uh, yes. <laughs> I, got, I got a bad back. Um, <laughs> Thank uh, you. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm, I am engaged to be married, yeah. I, I did a thing uh, uh, last year where I cycled from the southernmost point of Britain to the easternmost, westernmost and northernmost point, uh, which is uh, Dunnett Head. And my girlfriend uh, cycled the last 15 miles uh, with me. So we arrived at Dunnett Head uh, and obviously I shouted, I've done it. Uh, and uh, <laughs> you'll never guess what she gave me. Um, her hand in marriage. Uh, so, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit rude at this time of the morning. Yeah, you, was, you, 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 yeah. was, yeah. it, was it planned? Uh, no, well, I, I'd had a man go ahead with a van leaving a bottle of champagne there and some strawberries and things like that. So, uh, oh. in, the, in the wind and the rain at the most northern point of, uh, of Britain, you I went down on one knee. I didn't have time to have a ring because I'd been cycling for 33 days. What I hadn't had a chance to go to a jeweller's. So, I, uh, I used an old uh, bicycle bell as a temporary engagement oh. ring. Did you which... have a ring, Matthew? Uh, no, I didn't yeah, exactly. actually get it. Well, that's, because, that's because I didn't know I was going to do it until about two seconds beforehand. You see. So, uh, not very planned at all. Let's, uh, anyway, no, let's move on. And let's meet our special guest for the morning. It's so sorry, it's Lisa Mafia, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. She doesn't know this, but I'm in love with her. Anyway, I've given that game away. Let's hope the intended doesn't find out. She's back with a new record and, I have to say, a much-reduced crew uh, because the original So Solid was massive in every massive. respect of the world. Too big. Th 32 <laughs> of you at uh, some it point? Could it could have been more. <laughs> <laughs> and it's shrunk now to how many? Well, I say, we say it's shrunk, but, you know, there's the key members doing the tracks and then there will be a few more that come on board as and when, but, you know, it is much The smaller. key members is... The three of us so far. Mega yeah. Man, Romeo. Mega Man, Romeo and myself. <laughs> now, we'll talk about more about that in a moment. I think it's worthwhile reminding everyone that So Sorry Crew, of course, became a nationwide sensation. Now, nine years ago it was, with the stunning 21 seconds, which is a huge number one. And uh, it got its title because each of you got just 21, 21 seconds to seconds, do your bit. Yeah, it was. It's crazy. Uh, the idea came about um, through G-Man and Mega Man. I know there's all these G-Man, Mega Man, and everyone's like, mm, what's these names? But they are tag names that... Yeah, yeah. But when, when you were really young, music. did you call each other sort of Brian and, 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 no! and <laughs> David or whatever? There's nothing funny about Brian. <laughs> no, more like stupid. <laughs> <Yeah. in India. laughs> no, right. Everyone's got their tag names. And they came about with the... The idea of 21 seconds each would, you know, that we had 10 members and we need 21 seconds to make a track genius. long. Genius. Absolutely genius. And your daughter Chelsea was in the video <laughs> as well. Yes, she was. She's right at the beginning. She's there, like, there ha ha ha, what are you laughing at? That's it. Little girl there. <laughs> I, can't, I still can't believe. How old is she now? She's 13 now. You don't look old enough to even I have think, a daughter. I'm feeling old. <laughs> so especially with like with that kind of all the tag names and things. And obviously my tag name is also G-Man. Uh, but um, <laughs> you're like, you've got that, and you've also got a kid. Is it then you have to sh shake off the bad girl image, or is that something you consciously try and do? Lucky for me, I've got the name Lisa Mafia. That's my real name. It's not a tag yeah. name. So it, for me, I've never had to change anything. Well, I'm... if you've got the surname Mafia, you don't have to try and make it sound harder. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Exactly. It's all there. <laughs> it's brilliant, yeah. isn't it? Mafia, born to it. Now, now the, the most important bit of business we need to get through is the new single, uh, Since You Went Away, it's called. It came out as a download on Sunday, and it is really fly, as my lady would say. <laughs> Check it out, people. <laughs> now, I am not going to blow uh, backside up your bum. I think it is a great tune, but I'm not the Thank only you. one. The Daily Telegraph, of <gasps> all people, have been raving about really? it. Really? Yeah. And, uh, I haven't of, seen it. There you go, it's in there. So sorry, return older and wiser. They praise you for, for chucking off the sort of moody image and, uh, and getting with it. Because oh, I suppose it was, a, it was kind of a real shame because I thought so sorry they had so much promise uh, yeah. back then. And it, and it was all the, it was the bad headlines that, that kind of did for you. Great music can take you so far. You've got to have the attitude to go with it in this industry. And we were a bunch of kids with a lot of money and a lot of time, apart from the music, aside from the music, a lot of time on our hands. And living in the same area that we grew up in, to, in, in as well wasn't a good idea to stay in with, with having more than the deprived people, or, you know, people yeah. that, you know, You poverty. can see that, yeah, there's a difference. It's, yeah, there's a difference and the imbalance is, is too much. You needed to, we needed to have our money and get out of there the same as I have now, gone further and further away from London. It, you needed, to, we needed to do that when we was that young. Do, you, do, young. You, do you feel, I mean, just a, I mean, it is a cracking tune and it's great to see you back there with these guys. Is there just that slight sort of wish that 
if circumstances have been different and you think that, that maybe more of you would have stuck together and you'd, you'd have I, gone I do the wish, I do wish that we had better guidance. Mm. Management, record label, er, you know, everybody that supported us through our career, the beginning of our career. I wish we had a bit more guidance because with my mind now, I, if I was the adult in that situation, I would have said, come on, boys. You've got to do this, you've got to do that, you can't do this, you can't do that. But we got left to our own devices. You think, I mean, the, the amount of sort of talent that's come through, yes. all of you, you know, sort of uh, Ashley Walters, Asha yes. Dee's acting, we've had Harvey on this of show course, lots. Yeah. It's just an extraordinary achievement, I think, yeah. for a group of city kids. It really is. the same is. thing in football, though, as well. You know, young kids given a lot of money and not given yeah. a lot of guidance in yeah. life, and it's really hard to kind of. You, you know, do, you do as a control. kid, take power from it you know well I can do this now and I can do that but it's it's really about you know if I knew then I would have said right I'm putting my money into yeah. investment for here and that for my future yeah. but you don't think like that as a kid no do you? and I suspect N-dubs uh, will never uh, catch up with that wave of <laughs> there we go what do I know <laughs> Don't insult the dappy. Talk to the hand, guy. They're still laughing at me saying fly. That was done ironically, by the way. I'm far, far too old to get away with that. Great to have you here. Great to have you with us as well. Let's tell you what's happening on today's show, guys. That's of all. Welcome back to The Right Stuff with Dave Gorman, Gail Porter and Lisa Mafia, whose new single is so solid. It's called... Well, it's a very classy single. It's called Since You Went Away. Why not download it now? Get with it, you know? You don't have to buy them anymore from shops and stuff like that, so yeah. It's all fly, in it? Oh, no. <laughs> now then, in a little while, I'm even blushing. Your verdict on Barack Obama's first year as president. 0207 173 is the number, if you'd like to say something on that. Uh, but first, it's this morning's headlines. What's caught your eye, Lisa? Right, we've got um, police errors um, let black cab rapists attack 40 more. It says a series of appalling uh, police blunders left black cab rapist John Warbors free to attack dozens of women um, in, a, in a report yesterday. More than 100 women have come forward to say uh, the man that attacked them could have been stopped five years ago. Yeah, it's wow. a really, a wow, really wow, messy wow. Uh, case. I mean, one of the victims claimed that when she told the police what had happened to her, they laughed at her, which yes. is pretty damning. Uh, five officers have been disciplined. Uh, none of them sacked, and uh, just slightly reminiscent of just, it just reminded me that of there were criticisms of the Police Complaints Commission earlier this week that yeah. the public never seemed to get their complaints heard properly. Yeah. Maybe over a situation like, uh, like this, you'd have thought yeah. there'd have been. But it also it goes on to say um, that there was two critical opportunities um, that they could have stopped this guy um, in 2003 when a key witness was not interviewed and in July 2007 when he was arrested. Yeah, because they, 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 they arrested him and they were going to interview him and they did it by appointment. Yeah. So they said, we're going to interview about this. So he had a chance to throw away his rape kit, which was a drink and drugs he used to drug his That's victims. It. So he got a chance to throw that away. I mean, it's... <laughs> so it was like, what I'd read, it was a kind of an institutional failure to believe that a black cab driver, driver could be absolutely. doing it. So absolutely. Yeah. Like, now, it must have been a dodgy minicab, it couldn't be him. Yeah, absolutely, um, absolutely. OK, uh, that's War Boys, uh, Scumbag, anything else? Uh, we've also else? got um, Tories to back Samaritans <clears throat> who take on criminals. Basically, it's about Samaritans. Are, they're going to be protected. Have a go heroes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're going to be protected by the Tory government. Those, uh, it says here, those members of the public who acted responsibly, responsibly and in good faith would not be charged in suspect-made allegations against them. Because you so keep hearing these stories, don't you, of people trying to do good and then getting arrested for it. Scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. I, th I, th I mean, I think, it's, I think it's, it's a good idea how it works out in practice, I don't know, because the problem is if uh, there was a case, wasn't there, where a guy chased burglars or, or burglars out of his house, of his house and then house. beat That's them right. further down the road, he's ended up inside. Then, you think, well, the same thing could, could well, still happen. There's a farmer as well that shot uh, someone. That Tony that, Martin, yeah, and he yeah. was in court for, yeah. you know... But then there's the other side of it. Don't you think that, you know, if um, we, we have to then let the public choose whether that situation is bad or not. Absolutely. They so it still has to go to court, I would think. Ultimately, it has to go to court. Exactly. Uh, if, if you beat someone in your own home. We shall see. Uh, yes. Another one from you. Nurseries. Uh, Nurseries feeding children on junk food that cost 25 pence a meal. An army of undercover mothers is to be recruited, re recruited into nurseries to report back on food 
after concerns that some youngsters are being fed on a budget meal of just These, these undercover pounds. operatives, are they going to be police criminal record checked? Bearing in mind we've already had nursery <laughs> workers done over for abusing children. Now we're going to send more people, untrained people, into schools to monitor food. It seems... I, mm. I don't know how an undercover mum goes into a nursery unless Wearing it's wee beard. Jimmy Cranky. <laughs> 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 That's the only way I can see that working. Right? Uh, uh, 25p, though, on a meal. I mean, I still... I mean, ever since Jamie Oliver flagged this up, I still can't believe that's how little we spend feeding our children. I don't know. For me, I've got a child as well, so I wouldn't want my daughter being fed junk food. No. No. Good old wholesome meal in school. It all comes down to cost good. again, though, doesn't it? You know, if, if, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Everything runs off of how much money you but got. You can yeah. feed, you can but maybe if Kraft, on a, on a Kraft budget. makes Cadbury's cheaper, we just keep <laughs> sticking chocolate in their mouths and everyone's <laughs> happy. But actually, real like good chocolate? food is cheaper than fast food. It's, it's cheaper to make food using actual ingredients that you bought from a shop than it is to go and buy processed food. Yeah, but what if you want to watch the telly? Uh, maybe you, you should be working in a nursery. <laughs> 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 OK.